Hi friends, a glorious good afternoon to one and all. I am Sushmita Swero from TSWRS Girls. Chappadandi. My today's my topic is what are the fundamental forces in the nature and characterize their importance. Okay friends, before entering to our topic, I want to tell what is mean by force. Okay friends, look at this slide. What you observing in the first picture? Yes, the girl was kicking the ball forward and in, in second picture what you are observing is some members are pulling the bus near to them. In third picture what you are observing is one boy was pushing the door, pushing the car forward. Ok friends, see the another slide. See here in this picture what you are observing is one boy was pushing the door near away from him and another boy was pulling the door near to him. Ok friends, you know what is mean by force. Friends, force is nothing but pull or push and it changes the shape of object and it changes the direction. Ok friends, in this picture what you are observing is one boy was pushing the door away from him him and another boy was pulling the door near to him. Ok friends, you know what is mean by force. Ok friends, let go how, how many types of forces are there. See here friends, there are based on the nature and interaction between two objects. They are classified into two main categories. They are contact force and non-contact force. Non-contact force is nothing but field force or force at a distance. Ok friends, now we have to going to learn about types of forces. There are two types of forces are there. They are contact force and non-contact force. Contact force is nothing but interaction between two objects that touch. Uh, in first picture, what you are observing is the boy was what batting in that the force is applying on the ball the it is called apply force in second picture what you are observing is it is a spring it compressed or stretched it is called spring force in third what picture what you are observing is one boy was flying on the sky it is mechanically or flu or soilly through a fluid I, this is called drag force. And in fourth picture, what you are observing? Yes, it is a frictional force. Without frictional force, we cannot uh, walk on the earth. With the frictional force only, we are walk on the earth. And there is no frictional force, we are spilled down. If like example, lubricants and oil. This is the example for the frictional force. And in fifth picture, what you are observing is yes, it is a normal force. It, for example, the book on the table. One side it acts gravitational force and another, it, another force is act on the book. That is normal force. Ok friends, you know about non-contact. First, you know about contact force. Now, we have to learn about non-contact force. Force. Non contact force is nothing but attract or replay even from a distance. In, in first picture, what you are observing is it is a magnet. It is a magnet. The magnet attracts the iron objects. That is called magnet force and electric force. In second picture, what you are observing is it is a electric force. It attracts or replay even to, to charge your objects. For example, you, you rub the comb on your hip. If some, after some time, you take the comb near to the small pieces, the pieces at the comb attack the pieces. This, are, this is the example for electrical force. And third one is gravitational force. And see in this picture what you are observing. Yes, one boy was sitting under a tree and he is looking, 
you looking uh, fruits and leaves are fall downing this is due to the gravitational force okay friends you know about types of forces now we have to going to learn about what is difference between the fundamental forces and derived forces derived forces is nothing but now only still we are discuss there are contact force and non contact force and fundamental forces are in the nature and they are independent the fundamental forces are de did not depend on the derived forces this derived forces are depend on the fundamental forces okay friends now we are entering to the our topic as today our topic is fundamental forces in nature there are four fundamental forces in nature they are strong nuclear force electromagnetic force and weak nuclear force and gravitational force these four forces are in the fundamental forces and this strong nuclear force is the strongest force and gravitational force is the weakest force okay friends before going to learn about strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force first we have to know what is mean by nucleus friends see here what you observing in this slide it is an a atom in it the atom is nothing but it is a small particle element in in the size of the atom is near nearly 10 to the power of 8 minus 8 centimeters in the atom one center is there in the center the nucleus is present the nucleus is totally contains with contains with protons and neutron the size of the nucleus is nearly 10 to the power of minus 12 centimeters and the size of the protons and neutrons is nearly 10 to the power of minus 13 centimeters and along with the protons and neutrons in the nucleus some of the quark is present quark is nothing but it is an elementary particle and if the size of the quark is less than 10 to the power of minus 16 centimeters and in the atom around the nucleus blue color balls are rotating they are electrons the size of the electrons is near el electrons is less than 10 to the power of minus 16 centimeters okay friends you know what is mean by nucleus now we have to going to learn about first force that is strong nuclear force okay friends see here what you observing is the strong nuclear force holds the nucleus of atom together and it is a very strong force but it have very 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 short distance and it it is a charge independent force okay friends now see the example for the strong nuclear force see here friends this is nucleons in this nucleon the protons and neutrons are there they are attract one another by strong nuclear force okay friends now see the examples for strong nuclear force l see here what you observing s in the first picture four hydrogen atoms go and combine they form a helium atom the helium atom give energy the energy we are using in our daily life light okay friends in the second picture what you observing s it is the electrolyte in the red colors are protons and the white colors are neutrons and electrical repulsion of protons stains by nucleus and but the nuclear but the nuclear holds the together and okay friends now we have to going to learn about nuclear reactions there are two kinds of nuclear reactions are there they are fusion fusion protons and neutrons are the two most important subatomic particles in the nucleus they are present they are participate in these reactions okay friends 
Now we have to learn about first one is nuclear fusion. Fusion is the process of breaking nuclear of atom to make different atom and this reaction is going from la small to large particles and thing it fusing two objects together and this reaction happens on sun and stars okay friend see the example yes this is nuclear fusion happens on the sun okay friends what you observing yes when the hydro one hydrogen atom 3 go and combine in the hydrogen isotopes it will be form helium atom the helium atom give neutrons and lots of energy the energy we are using in our daily life for light okay friends some of the energy we are using to create the helium atom and some of uh, energy we are using for light and mass is converted to energy energy formula is nothing but mass is velocity square velocity is equals to 3.0 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second okay friends you know about nuclear fusion now we have to going to learn about nuclear fusion fusion is the process of breaking up the nucleus of an atom and this reaction is going from large to small particles and this is fusing two things apart and this reaction takes place in earth okay friends see now i want to show you one small video clip yes this is uranium 235 and this is neutron when the neutron spills the uranium 235 it it weight will be 236 236 uranium and it give two nuclei and three neutrons 92 krypton and 142 barium and this neutron go and spills the another uranium 235 it go un unstable and it give two nuclei and two to three neutrons and this neutrons go and spill the another uranium 235 it go un unstable and it give two nuclei and two to three neutrons this is called chain reaction okay friends now we have to go to learn about second force is electromagnetism magnetic force okay friends see here it keeps the atoms and molecules together and it is responsible for the chemical and mechanical chemical and me mechanical and electrical properties of matter and it it acts over much a longer distance range than the strong nuclear force it have infinite range it is the second strong force in the four fundamental forces okay friends now we have to go to learn about electromagnetism in our daily life see here friends what you observing what you observing as it is an a metro train in this metro train the electromagnetism is used and in second picture what you observing as in this the doctors use for the diagnose to the broken bones in this also the electromagnetism is used this is called mri now friends let me go let we have to going to learn about weak nuclear force weak nuclear force is the second weakest it is the second weakest force and it is responsible for the beta decay it is responsible for the beta decay and fusion reaction in stars and it is a weak force and it have very very short range okay friends look at this slide what you are observing in the first picture air it is nuclear fusion takes place in the stars and in second picture what you are observing is when the tritium and tritium go and combine in the go and combine in combine they will give helium atom energy and neutron the energy we are using in our daily life for light 
Okay, friends. Now let me go last force that is gravitational force. Okay, for friends, it is the weakest force in these four fundamental forces, but it have infinite range and it acts. It have always attractive nature and it acts between any two pieces of matter in the nutri. in the universe it is a it is a very weakest force and it have very infinite range we cannot tell what is the range of the gravitational force okay friends look at this slide yes in the first picture what you observing yes our planets around this are in the orbit due to the gravitational force there is no gravitational force our planets are not in the orbit they are disappear from the orbit and in second picture what you observing s yes. now still i standing here also due to the gravitational force when there is no gravitational force we cannot stand here on the earth okay friends you know about clearly four fundamental forces okay friends next we have to go into learn about forces and their strengths and range okay friends first one is the strong nuclear force it have very strong it is a very strong force but it have 1 into 10 to the power of minus 15 meters and if it affects only it affects protons and neutrons only in the nucleus and second one is the electromagnetic magnetic force it is the second strong force and its range is infinite we cannot tell how much range have electromagnetism and electromagnet now it affects all objects with static and moving charge and third one is weak nuclear force it is a weak force and it it have 1 into 10 to the power of minus 18 meters and it affects all particles and fourth one is the gravitational force it is the weakest force in four fundamental forces and it have infinite range we cannot tell how much range have the gravitational force and it affects all particles with mass okay friends now we know about four fundamental forces now we have to know what what are the importance of the four fundamental forces okay friends you, to our flavor to everyone and to our solace to our flavor to everyone they are gravitational force and electromagnetic magnetic force and to our solace they are strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force okay friends now we have to going to learn first two important force is gravity okay friends gravity is a force that pulls us to the surface of the earth and it keep the uh, it keep the planets in the orbit around the sun and it cause the formation of the planets stars galaxies okay friends see here in first picture what you observing s yes, the in the moon rotating around the earth it is also due to the gravitational force and in second picture what you observing s yes, our planets around the sun due to the gravitational force there is no gravitational force our planets are not in the orbit okay friends let we go another force that is electromagnetic force okay friends see here electromagnetism is a force and it is responsible for the way of matter generates and responds to the electricity and magnetism and it is the it is used in almost all our household appliances also 
where is electricity is present there is magnetic field is present okay friends in all our household appliances also the electromagnetism is using okay friends look at this slide yes the first one is headphones and this is micro oven and this is washing machine it is home theater and this is the refrigerator and in the, this also not we are using in our day, in our up, household appliances like tv radio or light fan this are all, all also household appliances in this also the electromagnetism is present okay friends let we go another force that is strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force okay friends strong nuclear force strong nuclear force binds, binds the nucleus of an atom and the weak nuclear force is responsible for certain kinds of certain types of radioactive decay for example the decay measured by archaeologists when they perform radiocarbon dating okay friends see here watch up see here this is the example for the weak nuclear force when the sun deal is the cosmic rays that cosmic rays go and combine in the nitrogen 14 and it uh, nitrogen 14 and this neutron go and capture in the carbon 14 and this carbon 14 all living organisms are take uh, like trees plants animals human beings these are living organism these all living organisms are take uh, carbon 14 and the nitro when the cosmic rays combine in the nitrogen 14 the it will uh, it have six new six protons and eight neutrons and in the carbon 14 they have six neutrons and six protons and this uh, this carbon 14 all living organisms are take of after some days they will be die after some days they go, their bones are going into the soil and they release the they lose the carbon 14 and it changes into the nitrogen 14 by the beta decay and this nitrogen 14 takes plants by in by the soil in the soil this is the example for weak nuclear force okay friends i want to summarize my topic okay friends there are four fundamental forces in the nature they are strong nuclear force weak electromagnetic force weak nuclear force and gravitational force and this in this strong nuclear force is the strongest force and weak nuclear force is the weakest force and weakest gravitational force is the weakest force okay friends strong there are two kinds of nuclear reactions are there they are fusion 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 is nothing but fusion is a uh, fusion and fusion and it fusion is nothing but it combining the two nucleus of atoms two atoms and to make different atoms and it takes place in sun nine stars and next second one is fusion fusion is the process of breaking up the nucleus of an atom and this re this reaction is takes place in takes place in earth okay friends and next the strong nuclear force who it keeps the atoms and nucleus together and second one is electromagnetic force it keeps the atoms and molecules together and third one is the weak nuclear force it is the it is responsible for the beta decay and fusion reaction in stars and fourth one is gravitational force fourth one is gravitational force and it is it have always attractive nature and it have always attractive nature okay it is the 
for it is the weakest force in four fundamental forces and okay friends now a uh, lastly time and the importance of the four fundamental forces are gravity is pulls it is a force and it pulls us to the surface of the earth and second one is electromagnetism force it is the it is a force and it is a force it is used almost in our household appliances and third one is weak nuclear force and it is the weak nuclear force is a force and it used for certain kinds of radioactive decay and fourth one is strong nuclear force it binds the nucleus of atoms together okay friends this is the summarize of my topic okay friends la and this whole data this whole data i this whole data i collected from internet and intermediate physics test books and i lastly thank you to my prince uh, our super superhero dr r s pamin kumar sir garu and i also thank you for my beloved principal madam k shashi dev madam garu and i thank you for my mentor teacher ji sujata madam garu and i thank you my parents and i thank you for this ad channel and thank you for watching okay friends bye let me bye friends Thank you.